Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. Today is my Premier League predictions um, for week uh, 29. Um, obviously you've got um, Arsenal Man City coming up as well. Obviously they played in the EFL Cup Final week had just gone. Maybe they've got to go play a league game at the Emirates. So that's the first result I will be predicting. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and let's go. So as I said, the first game I will be predicting is Arsenal Man City. Um, now Arsenal had a shocking uh, EFL Cup final. Uh, I don't think no one expected that. Um, me from a football natural point of view. Um, now even I'm not an Arsenal fan, I do watch Arsenal fan TV and I've got I completely agree with the uh, what the fans were saying. They uh, rolled over. Um yet again I think Man City are gonna have this league game purely because of that. So for that one, Man City home win and then might will be a bit later in my prediction. The next one I want to talk to you about is Burnley Everton at Turf Moor. Um, now, Burnley are strong at home. Everton have been a bit up and down on their form f uh, away. Um, so, for that one, I'm going and I'll go a draw. My next one is Leicester Bournemouth. Um, now Bournemouth have woken up. Um, they look like being safe. Uh, oh, sorry. Um, but playing Leicester at the Keen Power Stadium, that one I go Leicester home win. The next one I'm going to talk to you about is Southampton Stoke. Um, now Southampton are down in that relegation uh, fight with the other bottom clubs. Um, now they're playing Stoke and yet yeah, they're getting there into that fight as well. Um, obviously ain't going to play under Paul Lambert um, but for that one I'll go Stoke away win. The next one I'm going to talk to you about, and this is going to be a good game um, down at the bottom, is Swansea versus West Ham. Um, now, obviously, I didn't forget, but Brighton did beat Swansea 4 1. Um, it looked pretty comfortable. I think if West Ham make it look any more comfortable than what we did, I reckon West Ham are going to have this one. So for that one, I'm going West Ham away win. The next one I'm going to talk to you about is Spurs versus Huddersfield um, at Wembley. Now Tottenham have got a cup replay coming up. Um, Huddersfield did beat West Ham um, at the Hawthorns this weekend just gone but I don't think Huddersfield could beat Tottenham not at Wembley uh, so for that one I'm going Tottenham home win the next one I want to talk to you about is uh, Watford Stoke no sorry Watford West Brom um, now you already know about my opinions about the uh, where West Brom are. Another thing came out the dressing room this week where one of the players weren't happy with Alan Pardew's formation against the 4-5-1 that Huddersfield played. Um, apparently there's a bit of an overspill or an argument. But for that one, yet again, I've got a tip off a Watford home win. The next one I want to talk to you about is uh, Liverpool Newcastle. Rafael Benitez has gone up against his old squad. Um, yet again, Shelby gone up against his old team. 
at Anfield. Um, for this one, I'm going to tip it off as a Liverpool home win. Uh, guys, remember if you are travelling over the weekend, obviously the weather's a bit unpredictable at the minute. If you do go, have a safe journey, enjoy your day out. Um, but as I said, the weather's a bit unpredictable. We've got snow down here, and it's snowing all up and down the country. It's snowing in Italy. Um, apparently it's snowing in Brazil, it's snowing everywhere. So guys, if you do go out, be careful. Especially if you go watch your team play this weekend. Enjoy your journey, safe journey. And uh, I hope you have a good time. Now my next one I want to talk to you about yeah, again, they were in it earlier. Is Arsenal versus Brighton at the Amex. Um Now, while we're here and while we remember, um, there's news of the winter break coming up. Uh, I think it's not next season, season after. Um, guys, put in the comments below what you think about that. Um, if you enjoy this video give it a big crap thumbs up so the game I'm going to talk to you about uh, I've already said it is Arsenal Brighton um, now as I've said it's uh, Arsenal look a bit of form yeah again a club that's going into two parts some of them want the manager out some of them want him in uh, personally from a natural po football point of view I've always looked at Arsenal as a top four club. Um, even from a natural point of football fan point of view, it's hard to see them go through this. Um, with the Emirates and what they were promised, yet again, same as West Ham. Um, guys, I am looking forward to welcoming you down here. Um, but for obvious reasons, I'm going for a Brighton home win. And that's not just because I'm a Brighton fan. As I said, most weeks I'll do this from a natural point of view. Also, I think you're going to struggle now all the, pretty much all the way through the rest of the season. But guys, I hope you get it sorted out soon. But yeah, as I said, Brighton, I'm win. The next one I'm going to talk to you about, and it's really is the game of the weekend, um, is Man City Chelsea at the Etihad. Uh, now, Man City already got the title done. A lot of people are thinking. Um, yeah, got. They've already got the title done. I believe in that as well. Um, to actually see the La, La Liga style in England it is pretty impressive. Um, Pep Guardiola has uh, done well got their first silver away against Arsenal in the EFL Cup um, so for that one and yet again Chelsea are coming into two parts it's, uh, it's not a nice thing to see uh, from a natural point of view especially a natural point of uh, a football fan seeing all these clubs going two different directions and as soon as that happens you're uh, pretty much stuck because uh, the fans want one thing the ball went the other and yeah don't work but yeah for that one I'm going to Man City home win now the last one of the weekend is Crystal Palace versus Man United at Selhurst Park uh, oh, sorry um, now with this, yeah again I could go Palace home win, um, obviously United are struggling a bit away from home, but I'm not, I reckon Man United are just going to tip this one off. Um, so I'll go Man United away win for this one. Guys if you haven't seen it yet, see my World Cup predictions. 
uh, obviously the 23 men ain't been named yet guys if you wanna I'll put a description down below for that video it's uh, really interesting to see what I'm thinking at this point of the stage uh, for the England perspective I'm gonna do my 23 versus Gareth Southgate's 23 now uh, see what you prefer uh, I've got World Cup predictions every day of the games it even goes through my birthday as well so that's going to be quite exciting um, and then obviously the new season as well so guys this is the end of the video you know what to do subscribe for more thanks for watching and ciao for now